Kia Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, Dusk's Tale. We are here with Dusk in the woods. We've just woken up after a long day slash night of sleeping for Dusk. During that night, we had two mutations. Two very beneficial mutations. We're happy to have them back. Uh, let me go and show you what we have. First of all, regeneration. Yep, our flesh regenerates from wounds incredibly quickly. We heal 150% faster while asleep and 200% faster whilst awake. Our broken limbs also heal 16 times faster than normal. So that's really, really good for us. And we're also slimy. We've got a fine coat of slime that's back once again. And I think that's because we're getting close to uh, that slime threshold. And this is happening because of our um, unstable genetics, which means that we're going to be mutating over time. Uh, something else that we're dealing with at the moment up here is hypoglycemia. So we need to take some calcium supplements or just some multivitamins. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. If we can, we're currently holding on to raw rotten liver. Not exactly sure why. Let's go ahead and knock that back. Okay, so we get we get some calcium that way. We'll go ahead and have a little bit more. We want to be careful that we're not going to overdo it with multivitamins though, because that is entirely possible. You might notice that things are a little different down here. And oh boy, they've actually been doing some stuff. Nice. So there were some bodies up here last night, but there aren't any more, which means that they've probably been brought into here. So this is our new little kitchen setup that I have going for us at the moment. Um, yeah, it does mean that they're going to have to kind of walk past this wiring, but you know, that's not that's not too bad for them to do. There's a bit of blood all over the place still. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a mess. And you might notice we do move a little slowly around here. And I think that's because our group is constantly checking over the area to see if there is anything that isn't currently sorted. Um, so I might need to make that space smaller to make it, you know, just process a little bit faster. But um, I want to have a look in here and see if we have uh, just some... Yeah, we've got scraps of meat. Do we have chunks of meat? I guess we didn't have any big kills. Yeah, I don't think we do. Let's just do a quick search for meat. Uh, mostly scraps of meat. We do have some mutant meat, but it's, uh, it's not as nice. No, no, not by a long shot. Um, we aren't hungry at the moment, which is strange. We, we definitely should be. Um, we're going to have to whip us up a, a bit of food. There's some old compot in here that's actually still good. So let's, let's just go ahead and have some of that. You can see that it's actually taking us a while to consume this thing at the moment. Um, it is only 16 seconds, but yeah, it's hanging for quite a long while. Um, so I think we're probably going to have to make some changes. Maybe, maybe, who knows? No, that, that was a little bit faster that time. We're satisfied, we're turgid. We are in distracting pain, and that still comes from, I believe, our sores that we have. However, it's not the worst thing in the world because we're also a masochist, so we're like, yeah, yeah, I don't mind them. They're okay. So, yeah, we're, we're making that work for the time being. Uh, but yeah, everyone else here, they, they do have jobs. They are sorting things out. Um, Buster has been butchering, which is fantastic. And just having a quick look over here, let's see. Um, okay, smithing is done. Wicked. And two days left on this one. Okay, and the fortifications, a day and one hour. So we're going to go ahead and get back uh, Jewel, back from smithing. Who, and yeah, you made five pairs of arm guards which is fantastic someone will come along and pick that up at some point which are, which will be good um another thing as well is that i think the job cycle works on 15 minute increments so it's like every 15 minutes they should be trying to look around and see if they can find stuff i think that's the idea i might be completely wrong there uh but yes let's have a look at this once again and uh i kind of have figured out why the wrong person was being sent and it's because return uh, when we hit that enter key, it sends the person that's at the bottom of the list. So, yeah, we'll, we'll try and use the other enter this time. Uh, so, I want to try and make some more armor. Um, we can make the suit now. Cool, because we've got the cuirass, we've got the arm guards, and we've got the leg guards. So, let's try and make the suit next, I think. Yeah, so, a scrap suit. And effectively, this is what I want to get them uh, set up in to start with. 
we're going to use, wow, that actually does use quite a bit of stuff. We use the long string and we are ideally going to send Steve Grady to do this. So enter, dual knot. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to matter who. It's just going to send the person to the bottom, which is always going to be Jewel. Um, so, Jewel, good luck. It's going to take you longer, unfortunately, uh, to do that. Only half an hour. I guess it's just kind of stringing them together, so that's not too bad. And look at that. Hey, they went and grabbed the bits and pieces. Okay, cool. Nice. Like that. <laughs> um, so, half an hour. What do we want to try and do in that time? Well, we could try and get a few more mutagens made. Um, namely... We're going to have to grab some seeds and just hope that our friends aren't going to want to try and take them from us. Yeah. Let's see. Get items. Uh, we are after the Datura seeds. There's so much corn seeds here. We've actually got a lot of buckwheat as well, so I'd love to see that get planted. So I, it kind of feels like a bit of a waste, but I might redesignate one of these areas here. Yeah, one or more of them. Um... Edit type. Uh, I do want this to be a farm plot. It is a farm plot. Edit options. There we go. So we want this to be uh, buckwheat seeds. Okay. Yeah. So how much are we looking at here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we could probably have a few rows of these, ideally. Yeah. And we should probably rename them. So not corn. We're just going to call this wheat. Because with that, we're going to be able to make ourselves some bread. Uh, we'll do the same thing here as well. So we'll edit options and we're going to go on to uh, buckwheat seeds. Yep. And we'll rename you as well to wheat. That's going to be a very nice haul. And ideally, this last one here, that'll also be wheat. So same thing. Just changing that on over. Excellent. We might not have enough seeds for everything right now but we will eventually. And so our farmers, which is pretty much everyone, should eventually come over here and uh, do a little bit of extra work for us. Yeah, and those Daytura seeds will be safe with us as long as they are just hanging out in our inventory. Okay, so, well, yeah, moving around here does take a while, a bit more than I would like. So what we might do just for now, while we're actually here, I might just go and turn off the um, unsorted area so we can just go and disable it and I think that will help. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. We're still moving a little bit slowly. Yeah, I guess that's just gonna, that's just gonna happen, huh? Yeah, okay, well, let's make our way into the storage facility for now. And we are going to try and make ourselves some more mutagens. I don't know if we're going to have everything here that we need for it. Unfortunately, yeah, the light isn't here entirely. Uh, but with those Datura seeds, we're going to be able to make some plant mutagen, which is part of the process for us to make our uh, other good stuff. And for you, let's just go ahead and make four lots. Two hours and 28 minutes. We are going to use the chemistry set that is nearby. And hopefully no one's going to come and try and steal this from us. Because <laughs> sometimes they can do that. Yeah, they are trying to just constantly sort things out. And I think that is that 15 minute increment where they're kind of, yeah, checking that they can do stuff. Yeah. We don't need the messages, <laughs> so it's kind of unfortunate that it's just constant like that. Oh, and we're very hungry. Let's just go ahead and pour this into, let's say, a gallon jug for now. That should do the trick. We do need to eat, though, and we don't really want to eat this rotten leather, even though we probably could get away with it. I think we're just going to leave those doors open for now. Just look at that. Scrap gauntlets. Just hanging out down there with all of our other bits of armor. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. So, heading back up, um, we need to make ourselves something to eat. But what though? The music's very spooky at the moment, I promise you. It shouldn't be that spooky. We're, we're, we're doing fine. No spooky happenings here yet. Fried brain? We do have some brains, don't we? We've got one brain. 25 minutes. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll use the, uh, we'll just use the, the, the cornmeal as is. And some soy sauce. <laughs> Uh, old fried brain. Mmm, delicious. Exactly what we want. Uh, three lots. It's not actually that high in calories. <laughs> Unfortunate. Um, what else can we make? Something 
maybe a little bit tastier. It doesn't just have to be meat. We can make some more compote, and I think we should. So let's go, I think it's just the four units that we want to make. Nope, nope, it's only three, because it's going to give us six portions, enough to fit into our canteen. It's old, so we need to eat it relatively quickly. Uh, although we're hydrated at the moment, so we probably don't want to. Sure, that's fine. We'll see if we can have that eventually. Uh, for now, though, anything else that we want to have? Hmm. I don't know if we want to do any more baking. Well, we can make ourselves some frozen yogurt. Mm. Imitation peanut butter. Now we're talking. Yeah. Only 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, we do need some peanut butter. So uh, why not? Let's go ahead and spend, mm, let's just say an hour for now. I uh, don't have enough charges. Really? Oh, because it's our food processor. Um, no, no, we won't start that. Uh, I don't know how long has passed up here. Uh, smithing is done. Nice. Okay, we'll go ahead and bring you back. And we have ourselves a full scrap suit. So, who do we want to give this suit to? Uh, looking at the uh, protection that this gives, it's 10 kind of across the board. It's going to be a little bit on the encumbering side. We're just going to go ahead and wield that for now. Uh, but we'll kind of go through just bit by bit. Um, let's see. Scrap suit. We're going to go ahead and give it to you, Theta, just because you don't actually have that much on at the moment. So let's see if we can get you sorted with this. And there we go. Arm it up with your scrap suit. That'll give you a little bit more survivability. And so we just need to make one of those for everyone else at this stage. So we have how many boots? We've got four boots. We So let's do three arm guards and three leg guards and then we should be able to make four suits all in one go which will be the kind of more efficient way of us doing that so jumping across to the southwest uh, i will get it eventually there we go all the way down okay so arm guards and leg guards can we make three of you okay we're good to go we'll go ahead and make three and um i don't know how i can do the selection process any differently yeah tab or return is them oh i see i see i might actually be able to rebind that possibly uh select mouse left okay confirm choices also return so we could change that to be a different button um i'll see if i can just select so let's try and select uh steve grady hey wow okay cataclysm with the the mouse input that feels weird. It feels wrong, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so our food processor, where are you at the moment? Um, you've got to be around here somewhere. On us? You're on us. Of course you are. So we've got 200 and the compote's already, you know, starting to go. Raw liver. Let's just go ahead and throw that in the river before we forget about it, because I will forget. And hey, we got a body just hanging out over there. Liver. As far as we can throw you, pretty far by the looks of things. No one should go out to get that. Well, we desperately hope that no one will go out. Yeah. So how many, how much of this imitation peanut butter are we going to be able to get with 200 charges? All right, so we can get five in with the charges that we have. We'll go ahead and just use the regular old sugar that we have. Whip this out, get it done. And what's good about this is that it's going to last a fair amount of time so if we could actually make this in a decent batch would be looking very nice hmm what do we want to go with for now large tin can i mean we can't seal it but uh oh let's go glass jar there we go excellent our imitation peanut butter now i think we actually have some bread left over so we should theoretically be able to make ourselves a nice uh sandwich yay nay let's have a look and we've cooked ourselves up some corn bread as well so we should have some sandwich options now yeah a few sandwich options now that's what i was kind of looking for here the pb and h sandwich look at those calories the potential is really good and it, it only lasts a day so we're gonna have to be you know cautious we don't want to make too much that's two portions yeah Let's go ahead, uh, put down our cornbread, just store it in our inventory for now, and there we go. Just like that, we've got two, well, they're old, unfortunately. 
two old sandwiches. Uh, 600 calories each. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and knock those back. We should be feeling a little bit nicer after that. And the compote's already rotten. God damn. Yeah, unfortunately, some of the stuff is just going to be going off like that. Okay, let's head on over here. How much longer for the smithing? Two hours and eight minutes. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do now is send some of our workers out. Out into the world. We are going to need more wood, just in general, logs. So, let's see. Firewood is going to give us some light brush and stout branches. Cutting logs, so we don't want to clear cut, but just cutting logs should be fine. Yeah, okay, yep, that's perfectly fine. So, let's see, what do we want to go for? I know that we've gone for a few around here before, but we'll go for that space. It's a day and four hours to be able to achieve this. And we're going to send Nico out because Nico has the axe. And so I'm going to do this click again just so I can be certain that it's going to be Nico that goes out. And from the northwest, we can hear thump, thump, crunch. So I think he is actually working. Yeah. How can we hear that from here, though? No, northwest. Oh, why am I hearing a thump, thump, crunch over there? Huh? Who's thump, thump, crunching? I need to go see. Anybody? Trouble? No? I mean, there's still a beaver corpse over here. Have you laid any more eggs for us, duck? I mean, I really do need to just remake this gate. I think we've got everything that we need to remake it. So, yeah, let's, let's have a quick look and see. Do we have everything we need to actually get this thing? Hmm. Door of some kind. Actually, yeah, it's probably going to be a, a gate, rather. Chicken wire gate. We've got... Well, not enough. Not enough wires. It doesn't seem to be leaving for now, so you know what? You're a free roaming duck. You can you can do what you want to do. Uh, I do want to have a look around this area though to see whether or not you have any eggs on the ground. Just bird food? Okay, that's fine. There will be eggs before too long. Bridget really seems to like that one spot there out the front of the window. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. So jumping back over here, we've got someone out collecting uh, logs. That's good. Next up, large game. So let's see. Jewel, Lino. See, Lino has the rifle, so I'm probably going to want to send Lino out for that. So Lino, go hunt for some meat. And now trapping. So small game. Yep. And for that, we are going to send out sooner. Boom, head on out of here. And then finally, I guess we can send more than one person out for that, can't we? Okay, uh, let's send out uh, Byron as well. Small animals and hmm, forage for plants. Fruits, nuts. I mean, it's summer at the moment. Yeah, we can get three people doing this. This is a chance for us to get a fair amount of uh, goods. Julian, you've been hanging about, so we can send you out. Okay, we can send Buster out as well. He doesn't have to do any butchery right now. So, forage for plants. Buster, thank you. And, um, I'd be tempted to send Brigitte out, but I kind of want to keep her around because, yeah. I just get nervous not having someone here. So, Servo, you have zero survival. You might get better. Possibly. So, there we go. You're off and out. I'm not sure who we had working on this expansion. And on the fortifications. I don't know if we had any double ups there. I think I think we should be fine. But yeah, two hours and five minutes left on that, huh? Hmm. Well, we could do a little bit more. I'm just trying to think of jobs that we can do around here while we're here. And oh, thanks for hauling all of the slimes back. We kind of need those. <laughs> We've got our slime mutagen done. We are still going to need eggs. And we should be able to find more eggs now, say, if we go to the zoo to, to collect some goodies. Uh, but I kind of feel like just like doing a light jaunt with Dusk today, you know, still going out into the world and doing a thing or two. And I'm thinking maybe we want to have a look at this scout tower. It is quite close to home. Yes, we still have a whole heap of trouble up here in New Ashford. We are going to have to do something about that. But, you know, I'm kind of... I feel like Dusk needs a bit of a break from all of that mess. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and just drop off our slime globs over here. Because we're just carrying some at the moment. 
and we're going to go and unload this uh, old compote into the water. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, compote. Get gone. Pour on the ground, just into the water. Lovely. So I'm going to cook us up some water real quick. I know that sounds weird. And get a snack for the road. Then we're going to be on our way. Okay, I've just jumped back quickly because I did realize we, we did have more cornbread. Um, it was frozen. And usually uh, frozen things do show up. But for some reason in this instance they weren't. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put down our other sandwich. Storing that in our inventory. Make ourselves some new ones. There we go, we got some nice fresh sandwiches. We got we got an old one as well. We are feeling tired at the moment, which is a little unfortunate, but uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and have that for now. Uh, everything else in the mini freezer will freeze eventually. We could just make a, you know, a little bit of a coffee. Maybe that would, uh, yeah, help us out in this instance. Sure, let's do that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and knock back this coffee. Hydrated, satisfied, nice, good to go. Let's get going. We are at the evening already. So, uh, yeah. This is going to be... We're not going to go all the way in. But I want to get at least a little bit of a fight on here. And we will bring our truck, just in case. We need to have a getaway vehicle. So, yeah. Let's, let's be prepared. Okay. Turning this thing on. And we are going to need headlights because, um, yep. It's all starting to go. And so, ah, there aren't headlights. They must be too damaged. Well, that's that's great. That's that's wonderful. I guess we're just gonna have to try and use uh, what we have. And uh, interestingly enough, oh, turn on camera system. Okay, good. I was like, the camera system's not working as well? Didn't think we did that much damage. I mean, we definitely did some. So we're gonna go pretty much straight east from here. And I think the best way to approach is probably just down on this kind of line here, this section. And we'll see how bad that is going to be. We've got ourselves an iBot just floating around here. It's minding its own business for now. That's good. And we'll just fly across the way here. Looks like uh, some bird litter. Which, uh, you know, there could be eggs there. No, it is just bird litter. Okay. We might have gotten lucky. I think they're are some birds out here we're just not seeing them right now because yep limited view and all that okay let's just keep on keeping on for now occasionally we're gonna have to spin around so we can see what's actually in front of us like all of these boulders which we're gonna have to try and navigate here <laughs> as cautiously as we can there we go and oh hi doggy we'll try and avoid you let's see yeah, our, our, our survivor headlamp doesn't really even get through that far. Should be just straight east at this stage. A quick little journey for us, and then turning north. At least we can see a little better up this way. Okay, this is where we're stopping. Yeah, we could go up a little bit further, but I think this is a good enough spot as anything. We will stop driving jump on out this thing okay we don't have any light on at the moment it's just still yeah there was a little bit of light left in the air woodland white which i'm pretty sure is a zombified deer yeah we can see it just over to the side of us here i don't know if i've read your description a pale stumbling white-tailed deer rivulets of slime running down his neck its limbs twisted and bend in unnatural haphazard directions and yet it moves with uncanny speed and strength Thanks to the cataclysm, it has now turned the tables. What was once prey, now itself preys on coyotes, wolves, and giant mutated spiders. Sounds intimidating. Let's go ahead and wield our uh, halberd. Whack that thing on out. And just be ready to do some damage. Let this thing get a little bit closer. That is not quite within range. Diagonals are a tricky thing for us. A little bit closer. Oh, okay. Jumping all over the place, huh? All right, well, you're here. Let's just start slashing. 86 damage. Oh boy, 127. That thing didn't stand much of a chance. Okay, well, I'm actually gonna wait until the the light goes down entirely because, uh, yeah, we, we wanna be cautious approaching this place. 
We've seen the tower from the distance. We know that there must be a meager threat within. How bad that threat is? We'll soon find out, no doubt. Okay. We've got some bird litter on the ground. Okay. It's all old. No eggs here. If we scrounge through some of these bushes, we might be able to find some. We're still not seeing the actual tower itself yet. Ah, there it is. Okay, so how are we looking for charges? We've got a hundred on our gas mask at the moment. Right, we're no doubt going to encounter a bit of that gas even before we go in. Ah, we hear a splorch from above. Uh, let's go ahead and just use our light now. I think it pays to be safer. More splorches. Nice. Glad we got splorch sounds now. <laughs> okay. We've not seen an entrance yet, I believe. We're going to keep on just making our way around. And there it is. An entrance into this place. Whatever lies within, we do not want to be fighting it in there. That is its territory. We hear from the southwest and above... Wraitha Groves. Prisoner. There are prisoners here. Holy crap. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, and with the door open, we can see Amigo waiting within. And it's just a regular Amigo. That's wonderful. That's actually great. That's fantastic news. Because uh, a regular Amigo, well, that's, that's not much of a fight for us, is it? Ow! I say that, and now we start bleeding. Okay, let's just go ahead and move back a little bit. We use the range of our helmet. Oh, it's on the run, and it's going to keep on running. Um, so, what I'm going to do very quickly here is um, we've got an adhesive bandage. We're just going to go ahead and slap that on. Stop consuming. No, ignore, and put that on there. And oh, it died. It bled to death. Wonderful. Well, that's good. Let's go ahead and just slow down our pace here a little bit. Okay, we got ourselves another Mego. Wonderful. Welcome, friend. Let's go ahead and miss our slash at you. We're going to go run back, slash again, and with 101 damage and arterial bleeding to the head, that thing was not long for this world. Our halberd is doing some serious work. Okay, so we do want to be cautious with how much time we're spending in this space. Let's start moving down. Okay, open that door. Oh, <gasps> Oh boy, yep, we don't want to be in this cage. Zombie wrestler and a night stalker. Wonderful. Okay, you guys can just hang on out there. Um, how are we doing for temperature at the moment? Yeah, let's go head back outside and just let our temperature cool on down. Because we need to head back up. Up the top, that is. Okay, here we go. How are we looking for cartridges? Okay, 93. Alright, let's peek upstairs. How bad is it? Okay, oh, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So the Mego guards are tough. It takes a bit to get through their armor. We can hear the hum of static electricity from in that direction as well. So we've got three of them. Do we have any... Don't have anything wild that we can use on them here. So we're going to go ahead and just back up, see if they start to follow. I don't know if they're going to, you know? I don't know if they're gonna. A skeletal juggernaut. Wonderful. Hi, friend. If I could kind of bait them to attack each other, that would be wonderful. But I don't think that's going to happen here. So what we need to do is get into a good position to fight this thing. And that's a good start. We stun it. And with 60 points of damage, it's good. We got this thing bleeding. Okay, wonderful. Good, good damage. I'm going to go ahead and back on up here. Keep on slashing away at this thing. Okay. Mind you, we're not actually running yet. Oh, it didn't get a, a little bit of an attack on us there. Okay. Ooh. Easy as it goes. Okay. Good battle against the Juggernaut so far. And hey, we got ourselves a Mego over here. We've nearly killed this thing. Back up a little bit further. Don't you kill Steel Mego. There we go, and that is a juggernaut down. Migo's running in towards us and running away, but that uh, that's probably going to bleed to death within a turn or two. Yeah, more than likely. Let's smash this thing. Okay, did you have anything on you? Um, okay. 
You had a pistol? We can use that, sure. And just some rags. Random. Okay, and you know what? Let's go ahead and start unloading these wallets. Something that we really haven't done a whole lot of with dust yet. Uh, and let's get our breath back too. Make sure that we're standing far enough away that we're not going to get into the gas. Hearing lots of piercing wails from above. Not the aquatic kind. Yep, there we go. That is one dead meager. Bled to death. Wonderful. So, doesn't look like they want to leave this place. The, uh, the boys above. So, let's see if we can kind of bait them here. Because it looks like we can actually go up from this position. I wonder if there's anything on this level. There might be a prison cell down there. But I'm kind of tempted. Are you heading over this way? I think you are. Oh! Okay, Migo Guard casts Migo Slaver Beam at you. Don't like the sound of that. We're in unmanageable pain at the moment, but I think that's probably coming from the temperature more than anything. But yeah, Slaver Beam doesn't sound good, and oh boy, yeah, the scream of it dazes us. Shrieking, we slash out towards it, and we actually do a decent amount of damage there. Okay, but it has another friend quickly making its way towards us. In severe pain, we start to run out of here, and back, and away. Ah, this is not a good scenario for us to be in. We are kind of surrounded by shrieking Migos, which um, are going to daze us with, uh, yeah, their screams. So, we need to go to the north because that's going to be the best position for us to be in right now. For them to be around us means that they are going to be slowed down and we need them to be slow. Okay, do we have a chance to make an attack here? I think we do. So, let's try if we can. Okay, we did some damage there, but it's still doing a lot of damage to us. The chances of us just running away right now aren't great. I'm wondering whether or not we can run back to here and get in before them. We can't close the door though, that's the only thing. Right now we're in a very, very bad spot because these things seem to be able to zap us pretty much every turn. Um, and that's going to work out really badly for our long-term health um shrieking if we can get them stunned that will definitely help there's a puddle of blood this is heavy bleeding so i like that if we can get them all bleeding we'll be looking good although our left arm is bleeding heavily at the moment i'm gonna try and see if we can take a strike out to this one here okay we miss that's all right it kind of moved out the way though this one is dazed and shrieking. I wonder if they are dazing each other. It's possible. Let's go ahead and take a strike at this one. Okay, that's rough. Okay, we've been clawed in the face, but we did manage to slice the Migo for critical damage. We're bleeding and we're blinded right now, but we know where they are still. They are just adjacent to us and I think Yep, we can kind of still get an idea of exactly where they are. This one's a little bit more hurt. I want to try and um, split the attacks where we can. Okay, shocked there. All right, our sight returns. That's good. Our head is feeling it right now. Okay, for you we go. All right, how good was our strike? Because they are getting some really good strikes against us now. 32. We don't really have the stamina to run at this stage. Three and three. Yeah, speed isn't good. Okay. Who's gonna win here? I think we need to try and take strike at you. We can from the position that we're in at the moment. Let's do it. Okay, that's a miss, that's not great. We try again and we do strike, but we are taking more damage as these things start to claw at us. Let's see how good it was. Heavy bleeding, right arm. Okay, all right, so we've got these ones going down slowly but surely, and this one a little bit more. We need to get another strike on it though. Okay, that one hurts. Hit our right arm. Ow, even more, and I don't know if we got a strike in there. Looks like we did, okay. Heavy bleeding from two positions at this stage. Right. Okay. Do we have hemostatic powder? I don't think we do. Because that's a quick stop ourselves from bleeding thing that we can do. Right now we don't have that. We kind of have to stand here and try and fight. 
Okay. Heavy bleeding, shrieking. The shrieking is not helping because it's dazing us. And when we're dazed, yeah, not fun. Dexterity goes down, perception goes down. Our strength and everything is not looking great right now. This is a dire situation for us to be in. Okay, so another thing that the halberd can do is a sweep attack. And I'm going to hope that we can get something like that. I'm going to start trying to do some regular attacks towards the one that's in the middle. Or even, you know what, the one on the end. Okay, that's good. It's some damage. We strike again. Okay, at that point, we are looking rough. And we can't see where the others are, but I think... Okay, we've got one that is looking rough, and it's tracking now. That means that it's not, you know, actually attacking us. Migos do have a survival sense. They are going to want to turn and run when they take enough damage. And that's what we need to try and get. Okay, so we've got two tracking right now, not actually going for us. The final one, we need to guess where it is. I'm going to guess here again. Okay, that was a bad guess, but the good news is all three of them are tracking right now, which means that we might be able to get away. Oh boy. We move back. Oh my god, we might survive this. Yup. They're heading back in. They're bleeding. We need to stop our bleeding right now. So we're dropping this halberd on the ground. We're going to go ahead and turn off our light, which should help a little bit from them uh, seeing us. Okay, so looking at our wounds, we have heavy bleeding on the head and our left arm. All right, Dusk. <sighs> I knew we were going to get into a fight here. I wasn't expecting it to be so rough. Three of them all at the same time. It uh, does go to show just how much our survivability has uh, improved over time, though. This was a fight that we couldn't do at the old place without having, you know, our Rivtech submachine gun. At least now, we can stand our ground. And for a decent while, by the looks of things. So, time to try and bandage. We're going to go for our head first of all. We're going to ignore the footsteps if we can. Because they are still tracking us. It's going to take us a while to get this off. Come on, Dusk. I don't want to ignore because there's a chance that it could, like, end up right next to us. Oh, we're hearing splorches. Don't know if they're good or bad splorches. Yeah, we're losing blood while we're trying to consume this. Okay, here we go. So, heavy bleeding at the moment. Let's see. Okay, that has helped. It's still bleeding, but it's not heavy. So, we're going to go ahead and apply another bandage. This time, we're just going to ignore and we're going to apply that to our left arm. Okay, much, much better. So, we're putting pressure on those bandages now to see if we can stop it. It is just mild. Oh, this is new though. Mild hypovolemic shot. Because we've lost blood and we've lost quite a bit of blood. Okay. All right, there we go. And we've stopped bleeding. Wonderful. We're going to go ahead and start wielding this helmet of ours again. Okay, so we can actually see the Migos inside here. I, th I think they're going to bleed out. These are deadly cuts that we did to them with the halberd. And I think there's a chance that we're actually going to get them just by bleeding them. Which is kind of a new strategy for Cataclysm. Because, um, yeah, it's something that we haven't always had. Bleeding, bleeding is kind of a new thing. It's gone down to minor. And they are fleeing at this stage. Which is a lot better for us when it comes to trying to kill them. What we don't want to have happen is for us to get much confidence and to want to just go straight back in uh, I think what we are going to do is inject ourselves with some more we we are under the effect of stimulants at the moment but not painkillers so that should be okay yeah sure we're gonna go ahead and inject some morphine into us because that's a good plan boom okay there we go ouch something hurt stop consuming Migo guard spotted. Oh, it's, it is here. Stop consuming. Yes. Ah, where did you come from? I guess you decided uh, you had a little bit of life left in you. Your mistake, friend. Ow. I say your mistake, but we don't seem to be able to hit you. Although we did then. All right, it's gotten away. And we have bleeding on our left leg. Okay, still in a severe plane. I don't know if we actually used that then. Nope, we're still with the morphine. Okay, drop the halberd for a second. Stop the bleeding. Wield the helper yet again, just so we're ready for an attack. I'm going to back off a little bit further this time, because, um, yeah, that was maybe a little too, uh, yeah, dumb of me. 
Let's try again. Ignore. Zombie spotted. I <laughs> guess we'll stop consuming. God damn. When it rains, it pours, huh? Where did you come from? We'll go ahead and smash you to make sure that you stay dead. <laughs> Jeez. It's all the screaming that's doing it, I think. All right, nothing else is close by. Can we? No, I said that, but then I just saw a skeletal dog, which probably saw us. Yep, yep. Hey, buddy. Looks like we've got three of them heading their way over towards us at the moment, coming through the water. Oh, and you're the dog. Hi, you were the dog. Okay, that one's not coming back to life. All right, well, we'll keep this on for now. Let them make their way towards us. 96 damage there. We should be able to take this one out in one. Okay, it's in the water at the moment. Oh, there you are. Hi. And ignore those for now. <laughs> Go ahead and just smash these bodies. Oh boy, Dusk. What a time. What a bloody time. Now, can we take some morphine? We'll try. It seems to be taking us a while for us to get this in. And there we go. All right, finally. That's going to help deal with our pain. Um, so, looking at the rest of our wounds, we still need to put bandages on them for us to have our good um, healing start to take effect. And we're going to go for our left arm. Yep. The left leg, right leg, that can just chill out for now. Oh boy. Okay. Yep, hearing a whole heap of scream we're hearing a bark now as well so it means that we've probably got a dog around here somewhere okay heading back towards the door not seeing any dead yet okay well we don't like that hmm how do we want to do this thing well we don't want them to get away alive so let's poke our head in it looks like they might have gone back up to the top floor let's just peek Okay, they're not here at the moment. Where the hell would they be then? Okay. Poke our head around here. We don't want to get hit by that. And we also really don't want there to be another one in here. Okay, just peek. Okay, it's just stuff. Okay, top floor. Peeking up here. Okay, so what have we got going for us? We've got a regular Miko. We've got a Miko that's shrieking in a pile of blood. Okay, so there was a body in here. The corpse of McKinley Wanson, also known as Matter. But we've got a whole heap of people in here. We've got Yedda, we've got Bogey, Abe, Myrea, and uh, Reitha. Reitha was the one that we could hear from downstairs. Okay, peeking around there though. Okay, yep, so. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Not sure about this. Okay. Oh boy. Hi. You got here quick. Wow. We were just peeking. All right. Get out of here. You me go. Son of a bitch. Okay. Head back downstairs. We need our hammer regardless. So. We've made it out for now. Drop the helmet on the ground. Take a deep breath of air, Dusk. Our enemy yet lives. Let's grab that helmet. I wonder if we put it straight onto the spear strap. We do. Wonderful. That's very helpful. Okay, well, we know that we are not done here. Oh, hey, there you are. Well, good to see you. You're not doing too well, are you? Let's go ahead and activate this. Draw out our halberd. And we're going to start to move towards it. Or rather, you know what? Let you move towards us. We're dazed right now, but we're ready to slash. Okay, that's a miss. That's all right. We'll try and run down if we can. Oh boy, yep, running's not going to work here, but slashing most certainly does, and finally with that we take the head off the creature, leaving it dead on the ground. That probably means that the others are just hanging around outside here. I'd have to guess, oh well, let's stop running, <laughs> for one. Try and catch our breath. Okay. Yeah. Move down for now. Back towards the vehicle. Through all this mess. Okay, well, I didn't know that the scout towers could have prisoners. That is very good to know. We didn't leave anything else in the back of this, did we? No. Nope. Would have been good to keep the hammer in there. So, we'll keep our torch on for now so that we can actually kind of see what we're doing. Or we'll try to see. <laughs> we are really not going to see much in this thing at night. Yeah, we can literally just see in front of us. Okay, so it's going to be dangerous driving. 
That much is certain. Okay, well, we need to get back home. So, dusk, let's fly on back at there. We'll probably be able to get some rest after the coffee wears off, but we're gonna have to get together some equipment so that we're uh, ready to take on what's on out there. Okay, and we have made it back home, thankfully. Let's go ahead and turn off that camera system of ours. And we'll go put that halberd away for now. Oh man, what a time. What a time. <laughs> oh dear. So, hmm, I reckon we're probably going to need our hammer. Oh good, even more things have been sorted out here. I, I, I have to say, I am impressed. They've been doing a good job at getting things moved about. Uh, I am going to put in a quick, quick save here, just because um, interacting with these piles, some strange things can happen here, and I don't want to lose any of that progress. Uh, but let's see. Where is that hammer going to be? More than likely with the rest of our weapons, which is kind of spread over this area. Uh, we are looking for Siege Breaker. And there it is, up and just hanging out over here. We do have explosives, which I feel like it's probably worth us bringing with us on missions like that. At the same time, though, they don't they don't always do exactly what we need them to do. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and just wield this for the time being. And um, yeah, I think it's I think it is worth us having something as a backup. This shotgun is one of those things that I just, yeah, kind of wish we would have as a backup more often. We probably have to... I know we've contemplated turning something like this into a sawn off before, but we just haven't really been able to. I don't know if we can. We can use our toolbox and see if it's possible. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So we're looking for, yeah, cutting off a, a barrel removing tool mods, saw down a barrel. Um, so we can do it to the Remington over here. Yeah. I don't think we want to do that to Monster Killer because, um, yeah. I mean, it'll kill its range though, which we don't want to have happen. Uh, let's just have a look. What's going to be a better weapon, the Mossberg 500 or the Wingmaster? It looks like the 700 is a better weapon down here. And just in terms of the, the damage output. It doesn't take as much though, that's the only thing. Whereas the Wingmaster, it's just using shot and we've got a lot of shot around. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, chop that down. Just drop the other shotgun. Okay, we saw it down. So that should be uh, a little bit more accessible for us. Uh, so if we go ahead and wield this, we should be able to drop it on the ground. Okay, well, I'm, I was kind of hoping we were going to be able to fit it into our inventory. Okay, but we can wield it. Um, oh, main reason that we're not able to um, fit it in is probably that uh, survivor backpack is full or... Yeah, we can always go insert. That's an option. Um, but uh, yeah, it doesn't want to fit in there. And it could be that it is still just too long. Length is... Um, 1100 meters okay so having a look at the survivor backpack the maximum length of item you can have in here is 50 centimeters so uh, even sawn down our uh, shotgun is still effectively a hundred centimeters yeah so it's going to be well, 110 centimeters so it's still too long for us to fit into our backpack unfortunately um the other shotguns might be a little bit shorter once we've sawn them off it could be that this is just yeah it's it's too long of a shotgun i guess yeah it was 28 inches before yeah i just what i want to have is have a hold that weapon for us something that we can use as a backup i know we could probably use a pistol just have that in our backpack um that is an option for us and it's one that we're probably going to have to go with yeah, I tell you what we're going to do. We're actually going to take this laser pistol and we've got a UPS, which I'm going to go and uh, charge on up because we should have a battery for that. I'm relatively sure. Let's see. Uh, heavy disposable battery. That will give us a little bit. And that's enough. As I was saying, it's a backup weapon. It's something that we shouldn't have to use. But if we need to, it's good to have as an option. Yeah. 
All right, well, there isn't much of a point in us going back tonight because that's going to be incredibly dangerous for us to do that. So we are going to be resting on up. So we'll have another maybe two of those sandwiches. That should be enough. I mean, I know that we're massive. We probably do need a little bit more, but I don't want to overeat at this stage. Uh, we should be good to go. And you know what? Actually, just before we go to sleep, just before we go to sleep. Oh, who hauled this? What the hell? So someone has gone and pulled this. I mean, maybe they did that to try and get it into the sun, but that... How did you do this? How did you do this? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this back. We lack the strength to move it right now even, so... Yeah, okay, I guess that's going to be a morning thing. Y'all broke the kitchen, I hope you're happy. Uh, finish smithing, okay, well we can do that. Steve Grady, you can make your way back. We've got uh, three scrap arm guards. How about we go ahead and make uh, three of the legs now? Oh, we've got the legs. We've got the legs. It's the, uh, the torso that we have to make next. Yes, so let's see. Yep, we want to go ahead and make three of you. Or is it going to be four? Screw it. Let's make four. And uh, Steve Grady, you're the one for the job. There we go. <laughs> he can rest in between. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. But yes, let's uh, just go ahead and call it a night for dusk here. Settle down. Try to go to sleep. And uh, it is nice. You know, things are moving faster here. And oh, we're healing quite quickly. Yeah, having not as many people around definitely makes time go a lot quicker. Because uh, when I had the whole heap of folks here, yeah, took a while. And as you can see, we're not really sleeping. Um, oh, there we go. We finally fall asleep just as uh, <laughs> we get really hungry and thirsty. That usually seems to be the way. So we'll let Dusk go about this uh, sleeping cycle and uh, I'll see you all on the other side. Okay, it's too bright to sleep. We have woken on up. And out the west we can just see, yeah, one of our buddies hanging on out. Okay, so we will go and check on things before we get going. Uh, if we're fully healed up, which is nice. And it looks like we can pull this back in here, but pff, there's no way we're going to be able to flip it back around. Um, that's just not going to be possible. Um, well, that's incredibly frustrating and annoying. Oh, well... <laughs> we can kind of move it around, but not at the same time. Honestly, I don't know what part we'd have to grab onto to get it to uh, go where I want it to go. Yeah. Try here. Try twisting that. No, this is this is going to take a, a, a while for me to, uh, to get back into position. Not going to happen right now. Ah, uh, dear. So let's just have some of our sandwiches for now. We'll have some water to just get nice and satisfied. Full and thirsty still thirsty okay well that should pass eventually but we'll jump on over towards the notice board first of all have we replanted these fields yet ah it's still corn huh that's a shame damn shame uh, but we can get everyone back well most of the folks back 18 hours let's leave them out there for a little bit longer because we should have a better haul that way yeah and they'll be fine uh, as for smithing 15 hours oh boy that is uh that's a long shift very long shift <laughs> okay well Good luck, I say. Good luck. And we are going to make our way back to our truck. But we are going to grab Siege Breaker first, which I think... No, it hasn't been put back yet. That's fine. Uh, so let's grab you. Wield it. Because we're going to be in need of that today. And um, we should probably get some more gas mask cartridges just while we're here. Just to go ahead and refill it. So we want to reload you. Don't have any cartridges. Uh, they're probably going to be over... I guess over this side here. Let's see. None here. Up the top, possibly. Okay. Try down here. Huh. Oh, you know what? Oh, there, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking they're probably in the outside other pile, but no, nope. no, they weren't. We'll just have a little bit of aspirin for now. That's nice. And um, yeah. Good to go. I was thinking about checking our radiation levels, but I think I think we're okay at the moment. We should still be on zero, unless we exposed ourselves to more troubles. No, we're good. Okay, back to the tower, I say. And here we are. We've arrived. Let's jump on out of this. 
close it up. Make our way back up towards the tower. We're fresh, we're ready to go. We can even start things off with the laser pistol, potentially. To get going, just in case, uh, yeah, any of the folks are hanging out here. What I am going to do is probably just leave Siege Breaker here for now. We'll start off by wielding that laser pistol. Okay. Not seeing anyone yet. Up the floor we go. We are seeing Amigo. Well, hi there, friend. Oh, you're nearly dead. Well... Oh, stop aiming. Ah, uh, yes. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Okay, so I think it's because we were going for a precise aim, like, right away. So, yeah, I, th I think that's what happened. Um, because we should be good to fire, like, right away. I don't know why uh, we were taking so long. Uh, so, steady 10 moves. We should just be able to fire. Why are we aiming? Yeah, stop aiming. Okay, all right. I need to figure out exactly how the uh, firing modes have changed. Okay, so yeah, so that's what's happening. Uh, immediate is the default. Okay. Yeah, there we go. 11 damage. And nice little laser sounds. Okay, all right. Let's go ahead and just drop this for a second. Stop that bleeding. That's uh, That was frustrating. <laughs> they got gotten some free hits on us. That I'm not happy about. But uh, Fezzard Goop can stay. We just want the laser pistol for now. Hmm. Wonderful. Okay. Poking our head up. And oh boy. Uh, interesting. That's okay. I think we're alright. Were you the only Migo here? I think so. Yeah, and obviously we've got you shrieking and dazing us, which is not great. Hey, I wonder. We might be able to hit you through here because of the because it's a laser. So let's go for full steadiness if we can. Oh, ha, 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 ha. we got you, buddy. We can we can get you. Now, we don't want to get stunned ourselves, but we also don't want to accidentally hit our friend over there. So, oh, we got stunned. Okay, well, I guess that's going to happen, isn't it? Uh, okay, so let's go to the firing modes. Semi-automatic. Okay, so it doesn't get any better. Right. But the good thing about laser weapons is that once we've got steadiness, I'm pretty sure it just stays. Uh, ignore further sounds. There we go. Okay, 14 damage, yep, and we can just keep on blasting the sucker. And the reason I'm wanting to do this is just so that um, we don't have to deal with the constant shrieking. It is running. It's on fire. We want this thing dead. Dead, please. Any moment now. There we go. How are we looking for charge? pretty freaking good. It's very hot in here. Let's go see if we can make our way up here. Okay. Uh, this is nothing. Okay, there's no one here. Interesting. Uh, but we can go up another level. Don't worry, folks. I will be back. We're just going to peek up the top here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Interesting. Cool. We're going to go down. Um, yep. We're just going to make our way. Uh, oh, this isn't the whole way down yet. Yep. Let's go back outside for a second here. Take a bit of a breather. Know that there is a whole army of them atop this place. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a whole heap. Okay. Well, Dusk, what are we going to do about that? The Migos themselves, they're not a problem. Well, I say that. When we're in that kind of heat, they are a problem. They're definitely a problem. But... We can get by, right? We just need to try and lure that big boy over towards us. Because I think we are going to have to deal with them. Um, I don't think they're just going to hang out up top. I mean, maybe they will. Maybe they will. Let's just peek here. We're still good. Uh, peek up here. I mean, it's definitely not good. I'll wait here just for a moment or two. What if I actually go up for real? Okay, we can go up for real. Can I get a precise shot at you? Stop something hurt, stop aiming, ignore. We're okay, it's still hot up here. Monsters spotted, I don't worry, I know I've definitely spotted them. And I know that they've spotted me. Okay, right, takes a second for us to get that off. Uh, we've pissed them off, so let's go down a floor. Down another floor, down all the way. 
I want to see if we can lure them out here. I want them to follow us outside. Come on. I'd much rather fight you here. I don't like being in intense pain. It's not great for our strength. You're not going to follow, are you? Mmm, that's a problem. That is a problem. What we can do, though, I'm pretty sure we can attack through, like, levels. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we can. So let's just go ahead, draw a halberd for now. Put that laser pistol away. We're going to head back inside. Gas mask cartridge could be better. Okay. Just peek upstairs. Oh, they all came down here. Well, they, they kind of followed. Okay, so this is just the regular Migos, and they are actually hurt. Interesting. Where's your where's your friend, huh? Is he up top? Yep, probably. Okay, you all gonna follow me? Or stay over there? You're staying over there for now. Okay, can I peek upstairs? I can. Right. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. Um... You're just going to head straight over towards us, aren't you? Yep, we've been dazed. How are you looking, friend? You are also hurt. That's potentially good. Let's go down. Oh, hi. Hi there. Now, if you stay here, that'll be good. We can work with that. Ow. Okay. Youch. Bad friend is here. Okay. I think we can attack through floors. From the east we hear splotch. Yep. Youch. Back to the front. I'm bleedy. Oh, and we did kind of get one following us and it died. Yep. Right, so. Let's go ahead and apply this to our right arm. It's taking a bit of damage. Activate. Draw the halberd. Peek upstairs. Safe to do so. Okay, there he is. Okay, so can we get away with wielding the laser pistol here? Maybe. Spear strap, okay. Let's go up. Alright, yes, we can do this thing. Alright, so we're gonna start taking some nice precise shots at you. Ignore. There we go. Lovely. I keep on firing. Slowly picking them off. As we do. That's how we do it, Dusk. Laser pistol. Slowly chipping away at them. And just like that, dead. Okay, so for the others, we can effectively do the same thing. It's kind of the same amount of damage. It's not a whole lot. Just chipping away at them. Okay, you are now fleeing. As long as we can get them all into a state of fleeing, we'll be better off at fighting them. Okay, that's good. On to the next. Yeah, we are, we're, we're kind of getting a mixture of grazing hits and good hits here. Okay, you're tracking now, that's good. Okay, another tracking. Okay. Right, and we've actually got one that died there. Excellent. How are we? We're scorching, which is not not super amazing. Uh, we've got 28 cartridges left. That's not that's not great. Let's uh let's get down. I really should have brought some more. Yep. Not a lot of strength, huh? <laughs> no. Yep. I know. It hurts. It hurts. Okay, all right. Let's get ready to go back and take this lot out. We're probably not going to be able to do a rescue today, but at the very least, we can take out the Migos that are here. And look, they're hostile once again. Although I don't think that they're going to want to immediately come for us. Oh, wow. Why did you take such a step? God damn. Okay, yeah, no, not good. Not good. Backing on out of here. Okay. Oh. We've dropped the halberd. Of course we have. Time to pop the claws. Okay. We stunned it. Our arm got very damaged. We need to get out. 
Halbert's gonna have to stay for now. Youch. Yes, we can regenerate. Let's go ahead and put those away so we can start to... Okay, and we're out of charges now as well. Okay, yep, we're throwing up on the ground. Um, everything hurts. Not a fun place to be in. <laughs> Not good for life. Um, and our thermal electric outfit is... Uh... Oh, right. Okay, no, it's it's good. I thought it was completely damaged. Our, our survivor suit is nearly completely gone at this stage. We might want to go for a heavier armor in the future as well. The light armor is... Um, uh, it's not... It's not great. The, the bash and cut protection is kind of average really, uh, when it comes to the suit armors, so yeah, the dodge is nice, but as soon as we start to slow down, that's when things get really bad um, we're gonna have a multivitamin while we're here as well, because uh, we can <laughs> uh, yeah, we need that more calcium uh, our right arm is not good uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some antiseptic on that Yep, we throw up heavily, and we're going to go ahead and put a bandage on. We have taken care of the main threats right now, which is the main thing with dealing with this kind of place. Everything else will heal up fine, the right leg will go ahead and give that some extra treatment. Um, we're going to grab Siege Breaker for now, I don't know if we can, no we can't wield this because our, our arm is very hurt. We are hearing shuffling right now. Um, and no, we, we don't want to go into the foul smelling air. You know what? We're just going to have to leave it there for a, for a time. And just back away. Yeah. Migos still hurt a fair amount. And I'm thinking we're going to have to um, look at gearing up into something heavier. The reason why the light armor is good is purely just because of summer. Um, summer we get really really hot and um, yeah heavy armor it's it's gonna be a lot warmer there are ways that we can kind of try and deal with that but um, yeah we might just have to accept the the hot penalties over taking substantial amounts of damage because um, yeah we've got good dodge skill but in this place here we slow down because of the temperature because it's scorching hot and as soon as we get into severe pain, we slow down, and it just kind of cycles from there. It just kind of goes uh, worse and worse for us. And if you're a dodge-based character, you're not going to have a good time. So having the extra protection, the extra layers of uh, good stuff on you, that'll keep you alive. We are, however, for now, still alive. We had an incredibly close encounter with three Migo guards earlier on. And, uh, yeah, I'm thinking we we do need to have a proper holdout weapon for Dusk. Something that she can go to when things are really bad and she needs to get a little bit of an extra edge. Yeah. I'm going to have a look at that kit. But that shall all be in the next. If you do have suggestions as well, I'm more than happy to hear them. So, fling those my way. I wasn't expecting to encounter even more people at this tower, but those are more people that can come back to the woods, that can help us build and help us uh, create a new society in this landscape. Yep, they're going to be wearing scrap metal to start with, probably wielding a few spears, but um, yeah, we're at the start of something here. And just to outlay my plans with Dusk going forwards. Dusk has always been a character that I've wanted to explore, not only just the, the heavy kind of mutation side of Cataclysm, but also the civilization side. Um, this is a very old save. It's nearly as old as the season one save file that we had. Uh, I am creating backups of this one now so that we don't run into the similar kind of issue going forwards, but this is a file that I'm gonna keep going as long as I can keep going. That means we're going to see what happens when Dusk goes from being, what, 27 years old to 
later in life. I really want to push this thing. I want to see how far we can go, how long someone can survive, and what you can really do in the late game of Cataclysm. Because that's the thing, isn't it? In any kind of survival game, you know, you're constantly having to re-evaluate your goals. And right now, the woods still isn't a safe place, but eventually it might get to be that safe place, and our goals will change over time. Things that might have seemed like a luxury might eventually become more commonplace. But that is all in the far future. For now, we have to lick these wounds. These weirdly slimy wounds. Yes. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay awesome.